John here, back again with another review, and today we're going to talk about review, everything, everywhere, all at once. And yeah, this came out last year. Uh, this is a Blu-ray that I picked up back in November during Black Friday. And I think it was like less than ten bucks, um, and watched it recently. And I have to say, right off the bat, it's quite entertaining, uh, and very imaginative, and so much more here uh, that we'll talk about. Uh, but the plot to the film, so Michelle Yeoh, her character in the film, Evelyn, and her husband, uh, Waymond, played by Kihi Kwan, they run this uh, failing laundromat. Her father is played by James Hong in the film. And Evelyn is going through life and trying to achieve, you know, some sort of fulfillment. And one day they meet with this IRS inspector uh, over their business. And the IRS inspectors play by Jamie Lee Curtis. And during this meeting, an unexplainable multiverse uh, rift uh, happens. And Evelyn is going through these parallel realities and different versions um, of herself. And it becomes a quest uh, to save her own universe. And that's the plot to the film here. But the cast here, Michelle Yeoh is great uh, in this lead role here, and I'm a fan of her. I mean, I I haven't seen everything she's done, but what I have seen, I mean, Tomorrow Never Dies, uh, underrated Bond film, you know, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. I haven't done, I have not seen that in 20 years. Uh, I remember when it came out, renting the film, but I can't tell you anything about the film. I can't remember the film, but I do like Michelle Yeoh. Uh, you know, you have Kihi Kwan in the film as the husband, and of course, you know, he was short round in Temple of Doom, and this is a big role for him, a big comeback for Kihi Kwan, and he does a great job uh, in this part. You know, he plays, uh, again, the husband of Evelyn, you know, kind of meek, um, but, you know, throughout the movie, you get to see different versions of the character and the, you know, Alpha Waymond and the Alpha Verse. And, you know, Kihi Kwan hasn't missed a beat here. I mean, you know, here's a guy that really hasn't been in anything since Encino Man. And I was, back, you know, that was back in 1992. I mean, he's, you know, he's been working uh, behind the scenes uh, over the years, you know, doing a lot of, you know, stunt work and, you know, he has some good stunt work in this. Like, there's a good fight scene, you know, with that character, some really good choreography. But, you know, Kihi Kwan, uh, it's just, it's great to see him back here. And his comeback is definitely deserving. And, um, again, he does a great job, and I hope we get to see more of Kihi Kwan. Uh, you have James Hong in this. Uh, again, he's the father of Evelyn. And James Hong, he was uh, Lo Pan in Big Trouble in Little China. And he's been in many more films. And I'm glad he's still around. I know he's up there in age. Um, I think he's he's got to be in his 90s. Uh, but yeah, it's just great to see James Hong here. You know, great actor. Um, you know, I'm glad he's still doing acting. You know, Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, again, she's the IRS inspector here. And you get to see different versions of Jamie Lee Curtis throughout the film. Uh, but, you know, she's fun here in the movie uh, in a supporting role. Uh, but, you know, again, going back to Evelyn, you get to see many alternate universes and, you know, versions of this character. And so the actors, they all do a really good job here. You know, especially Kihi Kwan. This is a very, you know, this is not like small potato this is not like a small role for him i mean this is a very big role for kihi kwan and then you know, i really you know loved his character in this movie and um again it's a great comeback for him i hope we get to see more of him uh so you know the cast is great here but the directors here dan kwan and daniel Scheinhardt, i really have to applaud uh what they were able to do with this movie i mean the idea of the multiverse i mean we've seen this done in comic book movies and i have to say right here this movie 
wipes its ass with Doctor Strange too. <laughs> um, you know, just the ideas and where they were able to go with this movie and uh, really utilize on the multiverse. <laughs> you know, this is a much better film than that and did so much more, you know, to the 10th power um, in regards to imagination and, you know, uh, using these characters in different ways um, that we haven't seen before. <laughs> uh, so the film is just bursting with creativity. But that's what I really liked and enjoyed about the film here. Again, it's just surging with so much creativity, imagination, and the feel and the tone of the film is very electric. And the journey of the story is quite a spectacle. And, you know, some of the ideas, I mean, they were basically in order to jump, you know, to different versions of themselves, um, they would have these jumping pads where, you know, they would have to do something weird and it turns on their headset in order to make the jump. Like in the film, there's a part where you know, the Wayman character has to give himself paper cuts and then clicks on the headset and he becomes the Alpha Wayman. And um, I just, again, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed, um, you know, just again, the creativity throughout the movie and, you know, the visuals. I mean, it's impressive. If there's any minor dislike that I have with the film, I would say the third act, you know, it kind of wanders a little bit. You know, I get what's happening. Um, but for me, I just think that like the first two thirds of the film was just bursting with so much creativity. And by the time it gets to the third act, it kind of, you know, fizzles a little bit. You know, I understand, you know, it's kind of getting back to reality, um, to the beginning of the film. And there's still some wild bits of imagination, um, but it's not as impactful. Um, but again, that's only like a minor nitpick that I have with the film. Uh, but real quick, I have to mention uh, the character of Joy, Evelyn's daughter, uh, played by Stephanie Hsu. You know, she was good in the film and she has a major part to do with the story. I don't know how much I want to give away here uh, because I want people to check out the film. I mean, I really highly recommend this movie. And so again, I don't know how much I want to give away in regards to her character. Uh, but going back to Ki Kwan for a second, so this is Ki Kwan's first major role in 20 years. You know, I mentioned Encino Man, uh, but, you know, having a big role, um, you know, it's been 20 years. But Ki Kwan knocked it out of the park. But everything, everywhere, all at once, it's a well made, mind bending ride of a film that has engaging characters. Uh, strong comeback from Kiki Kwan and it's an entertaining premise uh, that takes you through you know different verses and parallel realities with a lightning pace and impressive direction you know visually stunning a lot of great ideas funny at times and it's a film that I will definitely revisit so I really enjoyed this movie and out of five stars I'm going to give this film four stars. Uh, so, yeah, four out of five stars for me. Uh, but that's my review of everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, thank you for watching, and have a good day.